Hello guys, today I'm again back with another new drug approved by FDA in 2020 and that drug is a monoclonal antibody called as Sakituzumab. Now guys, this drug Sakituzumab, uh, it inhibits topo isomerase 1 but it is an interesting drug guys uh, and uh, let us see how this drug acts. This drug is a fusion drug, it's a hybrid drug that is made up of two things, anti-TROP2 monoclonal antibody plus SN38 which is an active metabolite of a topo isomerase 1 inhibitor called as adenotecan. The bomb, the bomb is adenotecan. The rocket, the rocket is anti-TROP2 monoclonal antibody. Now this drug has been approved for treatment of triple negative metastatic breast cancer, right? Which is negative for ER, PR or HER2. How this drug acts? Now you can see here guys, now this is the drug which I'm discussing here, which is made up of two parts. One is anti-TROP2 antibody, another one is uh, ironotecan and uh, not ironotecan exactly but it's active metabolite that is SN38. Now what happens in case of triple negative breast cancer the receptors TROP2 receptors positive cells uh, to these receptors our uh, antibody will bind here as you can see and plus it will deliver this ironotecan topoisomerase 1 inhibitor its active metabolite SN38 to these cells and they will kill these cells. That is how this drug can be used and it is approved for treatment of metastatic triple negative breast cancer. Now it's a monoclonal antibody so like any other MAB this drug cannot be given by oral route. So route of administration is intravenous dose is 10 milligrams per kilograms once in a week. That is how it is given guys. Side effects are quite simple with this drug like any other anti-cancer drug. It also gives us uh, GID side effects like nausea vomiting. Bone marrow suppression is specifically associated with neutropenia and like most anti-cancer anti drugs it also causes alopecia. Okay, so this is what we are to discuss today, a new monoclonal antibody approved by FDA in 2020 that is Sakituzumab. And guys, I'll keep on posting these new things, new updates in pharmacology from time to time. But so that you are updated on time, guys, do not forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking on this icon. Take care. Bye-bye.